Hi viewers. Today we are going to differentiate between two common anticoagulants used in daily life, which are heparin and warfarin. Both are anticoagulant medications, or blood thinners, that help stop your blood from clotting. They slow down the clotting process, but do not break up an existing clot. Natural clots help seal wounds on the inside and outside of your body. But unnecessary clots can cause problems. Heparin is a direct anticoagulant. It belongs to thrombin inhibitors and is a major tool for the treatment of arterial and venous thrombuses of different etiology. It is most often used subcutaneously or intravenously. After oral intake, it is inactive and is not absorbed. It is effective and safe for use during pregnancy and lactation. Heparin is used for treatment and prophylaxis of deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary thrombombolism, during surgical interventions in risk patients, acute myocardial infarction, and in maintenance treatment following fibrinolytic therapy with streptokinus. Warfarin is an indirect anticoagulant. After oral intake, warfarin is rapidly and completely absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. Warfarin is used for treatment and prophylaxis of deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, valvular heart disease, and atrial fibrillation. Warfarin is metabolized in the liver and has a long plasma half-life, which predisposes to accumulation and development of toxic reactions. A specific antidote and antagonist of warfarin is vitamin K. Now if we talk about the summary of differences between heparin and warfarin. Heparin and warfarin are both used as anticoagulants in order to decrease the development of blood clots. Heparin is a direct anticoagulant. It is a mixture of high molecular weight sulfated mucopolysaccharides. Warfarin is an indirect anticoagulant. It is an organic compound called 4-hydroxycamrins. The low dose of both anticoagulants can cause thrombosis, while overdose cause hemorrhages. Heparin enhances the activity of antithrombin-3, which will inhibit thrombin and the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. And warfarin is vitamin K antagonist, and it will work to inhibit clotting factors from using vitamin K. Heparin works fast, and is recommended when an immediate effect is needed. The clinical effect of warfarin occurs after 12 to 72 hours. It is recommended for a long-term therapy. Heparin is given as an injection, while warfarin is used in tablet form. Because of its large molecule, heparin does not cross the placental barrier and is not excreted in breast milk, making it effective and safe for use during pregnancy and during lactation. Warfarin penetrates into the breast milk and passes through the placental barrier, causing a characteristic dysmorphism, so it is contraindicated during pregnancy. Antidote for heparin toxicity is protamine sulfate and antidote for warfarin toxicity is vitamin K. So, that's all about anticoagulants. Hope you like this video. For more cool content about pharmacy and medicine please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy D.